Ben Miller bridging. I see bridging. And Bobby bridging. They all- I'm just, Oh my gosh, now this is too cringe. Boys and girls, you are in for a treat. Today, I'll be teaching you guys how to Bobby bridge. How to icy bridge, just how to diagonal god bridge. You know, it's really easy once you get the hang of it. It is so, so simple. And trust me, this this is going to be very, very worth it. Not only will you get accusated a lot more because of your incredible PvP skills, but also because you basically are scaffolding. But anyways, let's get right to it. So basically, we're going to start off with the easiest, which is a, obviously going to be crouch. You, all you want to do is look in front of the block and crouch. Now you want to be in the middle of this zigzag so that you're not like all the way out here. And it's going to be very ridiculous. And this is going to lead to a bad habit. And it's going to, it's, it's just going to lead to falling off and failing the bridge. So don't do that. Try to be in center. You can do that, you know? Next, after crouch bridging, you're going to move on to uncrouching and crouching. So you want to click and crouch at the same time. So whenever you're going to click, crouch. So you want to click and crouch. Move, click and crouch. Like, let go right after you click, okay? You just want to follow those steps. And eventually, you'll be... Going, it's a lot faster than crouching, obviously. Now, we're gonna move on to the IC bridge, okay? Now, this, I'm not very good at. Obviously, I'm not the creator of this. But for this moment, you're gonna have to not crouch at all, okay? You're gonna have to walk, but want to strafe. And this is very important. This is like the biggest part of icy bridging you want to make sure you're strafing so when you're moving forward or you're gonna you want to aim towards where you're gonna place the block right and once you place it you want to move forward and to the opposite way you're turning so if you're turning left you want to strafe right so that you line up with the block forward and left so you don't have to look as far like your mouse movement is not actually as big as if you were bobby bridging, so basically just looking left and right. But once you get the hang of this, it's time to move on to sprinting. And basically, icy bridging with sprinting is basically just the same thing. Just sprinting. It's pretty straightforward, just gotta get used to it. So once you get used to doing it without sprinting, it gets pretty, pretty easy. And next up, we do have bobby bridging. Now, bobby bridging is the most straight forward easy bridging method of all time okay it looks very difficult and it might take a while to master even now i'm not good at this you can go on for pretty long you can side rush with this that's regular bobby bridging just by the way i'm not even sprinting yet that gets complicated that gets very very complicated but basically here, what most matters is CPS. And I'm pretty sure normal Bobby Bridging is just like 6 to 7. To sprint Bobby Bridge, you have to get like 9 CPS, 9, 10. So it's very difficult to consistently do. But once you get it pretty consistently, you can go over like around 32 blocks, you know. But on how to do Bobby Bridging, you basically want to look left and around the middle of the block and move forward. But this is where it gets difficult. You don't want to move too far forward. You want to stay on this line around. You want to look to your right. And it's going to be a little bit of a diagonal. Okay. So you don't want to go too far to the left. Because then you'll end up doing this. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. But it really slows you down. You want to, you know, do this. Get a lot more blocks per second. And your speed is just amazing. Now, sprint bobby bridging. It's easier with sprint bobby bridging if you go all the way out. But basically, you're just normal bobby bridging if you go all the way out. When it gets really OP, bobby bridging, when you go smaller. So, you want to go smaller movements so that you go <laughs> extremely fast. And it basically just looks like you're hacking because you're just sprinting forward, putting blocks right underneath you in a diagonal. 
which just looks absolutely ridiculous. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this special video. A lot of people have been asking me on how to do these bridging methods, how to bobby bridge, how to icy bridge. And it's really just simple. I hope this really helped you guys out. I am not the best at explaining these things, but I did try. And yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. We'll see you guys in the next one.